This is the TCJ Cube Group. I'm Joshua Covert. Hi, I'm Cynthia. Hi, I'm Jordan. <laughs> I'm Tracy. I'm Tara. And I'm Joe. <laughs> we are recording this video as a part of our homework assignment for teaching elementary school math at Nevada State College, otherwise known as EDEL 433. In this video, we will be discussing some of the key points made in Latinos, income, and mathematics achievement Beating the Odds by Luis Ortiz Franco. Social economic class statuses have been shown to affect all subject areas, but for the purpose of this video, we will focus solely on the research proven correlations between race and social economic statuses and mathematics, since this is a math methods course. There is no doubt that students in different races actually learn differently. This can be seen by simply going into different schools from the various demographic areas within the Clark County School District and observing the many different teaching strategies that have to be implemented to meet the needs of the students in a perfect way. So, a common misconception among educators is that Latino students cannot learn more than the basic mathematical skills due to their race and social economic status. As Luis Ortiz Franco states in his article on page 18, Schools serving minority children tend to put more emphasis on drilling the basics rather than on teaching the higher level skills that are needed to excel in mathematics. Poor school learning environments and negative social attitudes is what truthfully contributes to low academic performance among students. That myth is so messed up. <laughs> Just like students in every other race, Latino students learn what they are taught. Hence, they should be taught the higher order thinking skills of mathematics just like everybody else. There have been hundreds of studies done to show the correlation of income and mathematics achievement among non-Latino races. However, there has been no official comparable research studies done on Latinos. In the non-official studies that have been done, all of the data has shown that as the income level of Latino families increased or de decreased, the Latino students' mathematics scores did not change as a result. To help make hypothetical reasonings behind why the data in those studies may be true, Latino parents have been known to actually be more involved in their children's education because their practices contribute to improving achievement. As an example, many Latino families are very strict as to how much television their children can watch late at night. It is often assumed that white families are much stricter when it comes to preparing their students for school, but this is yet another myth. Taking into consideration all of the points discussed in this video, you can be the change as an educator by not stereotyping your students. Do not assume that they are low-performing students simply because they are from a certain ethnic background. Thank you for watching. I'm Josh. I'm Tracy. Jordan. Cynthia. Tara. And Joe. And I just want to say that we are not sponsored by Lay's. I was just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>